Minecraft Mentor here, and today we're going to be building the Arc Furnace from Immersive Engineering. So what you want to do is place down a heavy engineering block, steel scaffolding like this on each side. From here, you're going to place down a block of steel. Fill this in with sheet metal slabs. On this side, we want a steel scaffolding slab, 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 and then in the center, lined up with your heavy engineering block is your cauldron. That's going to be your first layer for this one. Next, we want to put down heavy engineering blocks on the side, light engineering blocks in the back, covering that up. Uh, bring your steel blocks up like so, and then you're going to fill this in with your uh, reinforced blast brick. From here, we just want to up bring up our steel blocks like that. Come over here, put scaffolding on top of each like that. Then our light engineering blocks right there. I also forgot on the second layer, we do need a redstone engineering block on this scaffolding. That's my bad. And we're just going to bring out our reinforced blast brick all the way out over top of the cauldron. The next layer up from here is pretty straightforward. We're just going to do scaffolding, scaffolding, and then a uh, layer of blast brick. Couldn't think of the name there for a second. Then from here, we're just going to do scaffolding, scaffolding again, light engineering block uh, again, and then bring those out across the top. If everything went right and I got this done properly, we just right click the cauldron and it's going to make your machine, which great, it worked. Next, uh, we're going to grab a few items out to show you what this does and how you can use it. So we're going to get some steel or uh, iron and some cold coke. We do need graphite. Uh, graphite rods to make this machine run also. So if we look around the, around the machine itself, you have two inputs on each side right here. We come around to the back. This is your export of all the items through here, which you can use conveyor belts or chests. Three power ports you can use to power the machine. And then we can actually control it with redstone here. So let's grab a power source power up and then we'll look on the inside of the machine itself. So it might look a little confusing because there's a lot going on here, but it's really simple once you know how to do it. So we're just going to take our graphite rods, throw them in and you can kind of see they added them in here. Next, uh, this is our input area. So anything you input into it, the machine is going to show up here. Now. We have iron ingots here. We can also grab some ore. Uh, let's just do iron. And when we toss that in there, it's automatically going to start smelting the iron ore and put it down into its uh, export slots here, which will go out through the chest in the back. As you can see, it's going pretty fast for that, for what it's doing, but we can also make steel in here. And to do that, we need coke dust. So that's what this slot's for. It's for special items that allow you to smelt uh, alloys and that kind of thing from immersive engineering. Now you might be thinking, wow, that's kind of slow. There was a lot to build here. We come over here and click this. It's going to distribute your items throughout the furnace. And this allows you to smelt 12 items at a time. And uh, that's pretty much it for this one. It's way faster. And also, I forgot you could click this and show you uh, the different recipes that it can do. There's quite a few of them, and you can just play around with those on your own. But that's it for this one. Oh, right, the kill automation right here too. And uh, if you found this helpful, like, comment, subscribe.